water shortage. Residents of a mining town in central Russia are so concerned about levels of air pollution they've sent a petition to President Putin. The nearby copper mine has started producing dangerous levels of sulphur dioxide, which locals say is having a detrimental effect on their health. The BBC's Maria Kesalova reports. This copper quarry on the slopes of the Ural Mountains may look picturesque, but it started leaking dangerous levels of toxic chemicals into the air. My right lung is blackened. The smoke got so bad, I actually had internal burns. People from the nearby town of Sibai are deeply worried about how it is affecting their health. I almost suffocated. My lungs just seized up. My husband grabbed my inhaler for me. If he hadn't been there, I don't think I would have got my breath back. Local authorities say that the channels beneath the mine are due to be filled with water and clay. But sulfur dioxide, a harmful chemical, is still detected in the air, and the nearest houses are just a few hundred meters from the mine. For over 50 years, the Sibai mine provided thousands of tons of copper for the Soviet Union and beyond. In 2004, the open cast mine stopped working, but underground mining continues. Now, ecologists have detected harmful levels of pollution in the air, up to 40 times the norm, particularly on the days when there is no wind to blow it away. At a meeting with town authorities, angry locals say not enough is being done to stop the pollution. People are suffering, they're choking, they're falling ill. Local officials warn people to close their windows when the pollution is at its worst. They are told to wash immediately if they feel a burning sensation on their skin. Now the residents of Sibai have asked President Putin to intervene. Good afternoon, Vladimir Vladimirovich. We are the residents of Sipai and we implore you to intervene and help. Ishad Murtazin, a local resident, has collected more than 500 signatures in the petition. I can't understand why the authorities are trying to hide what's happening here. The mining company says there's no evidence to link the health problems in the town to the mine, but they have promised 200 million rubles, about $3 million, towards local projects. They say the mine will be filled in by the end of May. But promises like this have been broken in the past, and locals say they will continue their fight until they can breathe clean air outside their homes once again. Maria Kiselova, BBC News, Sibai.